This is not a biography and it's not a documentation, but it's a collection of impressions and experiences with a man who is not only a great scientist, but also a very lovable man. But before we start, let's go to the roots. There is a sculpture in the city of Tomsk. It stands in front of a house to which a memorable panel is attached. One of the roots is the place of birth. Another one is the school in which the education started. So we will visit the secondary school in which Professor Popov was a pupil and a teacher. Tomsk is a beautiful town with just less than 600,000 inhabitants. There are many universities with more than 100,000 students and many research institutes. One meets young people everywhere and in the summer it is almost an atmosphere like in southern Europe. If somebody lives many thousand kilometers away from such an inviting town, of course the question arises whether he does not feel homesick from time to time. And fresh uh, Luft, Baden, alles zusammen. Das war ein Leben, an das ich mich eigentlich, wenn ich jetzt nach Toms komme, habe ich keinen Heimweh. Das ich mhm. gewöhne mich an alles, wo ich bin, wo ich arbeiten kann. Aber das Der einzige Platz, wo ich jetzt Heimweh bekommen habe, wo so die Gefühle ja. plötzlich gekommen sind, das ist dieser Platz, wo ich meine Kindheit verbracht habe. And it was here where Professor Popov made his first experiences with stick slip effects. You can still notice that Professor Popov is a trained scout. He understands to light a fire also at streaming rain and he loves picnics with an extensive supply of meals. After Valentin Popov had completed his education, among others he was a professor at the State University in Tomsk and he was a chief scientist at the Institute of Strength Physic and Material Science. Some years later he was invited by the German Chancellor Angela Merkel herself to visit Germany and after a period of time in the black town of Paderborn he came to Berlin.
Sie vielleicht dem Vorlesungsverzeichnis bereits entnommen haben, ist mein Name Popov. Das ist ein nicht weit verbreiteter Name im deutschsprachigen Raum, aber in slawischen Ländern ist es wohl sehr verbreitet. Ich stamme aus Russland. Es gibt sehr viele berühmte Popovs, zum Beispiel der Clown Oleg Popov. Der bin ich leider nicht. Es gibt der Erfinder von Radio ist Alexander Stepanovich Popov. Ähm, den Nobelpreis für die Erfindung von Radio hat Marconi gekriegt, aber er war Amerikaner. Approximately 30.000 young people study at the Technical University of Berlin. A large part of them has to pass the basic lectures in mechanics. And so the beginning lecture is always visited by about 1,000 listeners. So Professor Popov is not only head of the chair System Dynamics and Friction Physics, but he also has to care for a very large number of students. But there also is a lecture which she loves particularly and keeps it for the best in the whole world, contact mechanics and friction physics. And to still increase its attractiveness, it is also offered in Tomsk in the context of a double degree agreement between the TUB and the PTU. Und jetzt aber man kann das auch in Schritten machen. Und durch diese drei Formen bekommen wir Zusammenhang zwischen dem Schlupf und der Normal- und Kandidat. Warum ist Schlupf gleich Deformation? Im Prinzip kann man das jetzt erklären. Aber ich weiß nicht. <lacht> Die, die Kartoffel. <laughs> in the following year, 2008, another lecture took place in Tomsk, Material Theory. And this time, not only German and Russian students took part, but one day there was also a high visit from the Ministry of Education in Moscow. Так что, поскольку наша специальность очень гибкая, там нужно. Und eine Verbesserung. So läuft. Und an die Oberfläche kommt. Dann gibt es hier eine Stufe. Deshalb ist es eine Stufenverbesserung. Wenn eine ganze. Вопрос. Как условия проживания? All of the courses were accompanied by an experimental training and excursions to several Siberian companies. Of course, a lecture was offered in a far country also this year 2009. Contact mechanics and friction physics took place in Shanghai this time. The lecture was visited by German and Chinese students and was held in German as usual. But it was also an aim of the visit to surprise the Chinese hosts with knowledges of their language, and so a language course took place in Berlin in preparation of the journey. Ich spreche Chinesisch. Chinesisch. Wo? 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 Wo?
、直指放棍、降位、华东理工大学和武林工业大学，基建、整体的、成功的合作和长久的友谊。谢谢，谢谢。Many people think that Professor Popov is a pure theorist, but this is not right. His theories are from the practice and for the practice, and because of this he loves experiments. As a sportsman he likes to use his skill and his own body. <laughs> we want to get to one of the great passions of Professor Popov now. It is the music. The city of Tomsk has a Philharmonia building and many concerts take place there in summer also in the open air. He loves ballet performances, the classical music and the great artists. During his scientific career, Professor Popov has written far more than 100 public. Professorship at the East China University of Science and Technology at Shanghai. Greater event was the 26th of July 2009. This day Professor Popov became 50 years old. Of course, a day of such importance could only be celebrated on the Zugspitze, the highest mountain of Germany. We wish Valentin Popov for his future that he will climb many more mountain tops. And for us, we wish he likes the city of Berlin so much that it will stay his hometown for all the days. <laughs> <laughs>